My name is Mike Carter. I'm Head of International Trade and Investment at the Chamber of Commerce and Industry of Western Australia and delighted to be here today to see one of our members, Australia Agritech, launch the new model drone uh, for the agriculture sector. There's no doubt smart farming is all about technology which can improve efficiency at the farm gate. You know, really, this is tomorrow's smart farming. We're greatly appreciated to, uh, to be here today to support one of our valuable uh, CCI members, Australia Agritech. I'm Rhys Muir, uh, MPC Agriculture in Manjimut, Western Australia. Uh, today we're here at Penelli Estate looking at the DJI T50 and T25 agricultural drones. Uh, I thought they're an awesome machine, uh, very impressed by them. There'll be a lot of guys that are impressed by the, uh, the performance of it. Uh, there's a lot of people that think they're only going to do two or three hectares an hour and we know very well that we can push these things up well up over 15 hectares an hour in the right conditions. So they're, uh, yeah, they're, they're a lot more productive, especially when you go mouse baiting, slug baiting, you've, you've got a drone that can cover more than what your, your tractor will. So you're looking at, at you can push up to yeah, four or five hundred hectares a day at low rates of baits. They're a very productive machine. I don't think people realise how productive they actually are. Um, yeah, we're, we're pretty excited to get going with it. So Damien Rushton from H Rushton & Co in Brookton, been in business since 1946, so new product to, to DJI and to the rest of us, so it was very good to see. I would think the main concerns for most farmers is the technology side, getting to know the technology, getting over that boundary. Then, then it's getting into the fact of how to implement it into their practice. Um, the, the more information, the more scenarios they could get from what the T50 could do for their business and they'll come up with multiple more ideas of what they could use it for. They then will have the opportunity to make the best out of their inputs and have more money return into their pocket, which at the end of the day everyone wants. My name's Craig, I'm from Guildford Garden Machinery. So Gary has done some flyovers and he's shown us the capability of its movements and also its spraying ability and it's just impressed us. So we've had some people here today um, that are in the turf industry, some from the farming industry. So we've uh, spoke about flying a drone to be able to get you know, access to chemicals and stuff that you wouldn't be able to get to with your uh, tractor, let's say. Uh, so yes, it's been a, a very prominent day to show the capability of what can happen with a T50. My name is Phil Payne. I'm a special advisor to Australia Agritech. Um, I've just seen a, a wonderful demonstration um, of drone technology and uh, its application in the agriculture industry. I'm a great believer that this is the future and appeals to a younger, younger generation who are looking for looking not necessarily to do farming the way they're all mandated, um, but to do it in a very precise technological way uh, through which they'll see better returns for the farm.